Welcome to another episode of Electronic for Beginners. Today the transformer. The transformer has many shapes and sizes and it's got two principles, magnetism and inductance. So the transformer is a device that exploits and combines these two principles. The magnetism is a changing current passing through a wire, you can see here the copper wire, and creates a moving magnetic field around this wire. Inductance is a changing current in a wire that exposes to a moving magnetic field. Also, now is uh, quite gibberish. But you have to uh, understand, I think, that uh, transformers can come on uh, different shapes and sizes. This is a medium one as well. And all the, the transformer have the primary and secondary coils. Normally in this transformer you can see here the primary wire is the one connected to the main. So you can see this thick wire, this is the primary. And the secondary coil uh, is this one, which the voltage is uh, transformed according to the number of wires, the gauge and so on. Another type of transformer is uh, this air core transformer that I use it in other video to create some uh, dual teeth inverters. Basically this one doesn't have an iron core, it's just a wire wrapped around in air, basically two um, coils wrapped around each other, but with different turns and different gauges as well. The master of all transformer is this huge guy from a microwave oven. As you can see here, this is quite dangerous. Is the input here 230 volts, uh, 50 hertz, class 220, I don't know what that means. But this one, as you can see here, is danger high voltage. Basically, this one has the same primary and secondary. As you can see here, this uh, thick gauge, this is the primary. And this stuff, which is not exposed, here is going to be the secondary and this one can uh, plug into the mains and is going to output uh, next to 2000 volts as well so it's very dangerous but very useful as well if the transformer has many coils on the primary on the secondary according to the primary we can say that that's a step up transformer Conversely, if the, the secondary has less turn than the primary, it's called a step-down transformer. And if the transformer has the same number of turns on the primary and secondary, it's called an auto-transformer. A transformer basically transforms the power from the primary coil to the secondary coil. The power must have stay the same, and so if the voltage Decreases, the current has to decrease is ohm low likewise if the voltage decreases the current has to increase as well on the other side you know if we're gonna reverse the principle of a transformer basically this is connecting to mains this is the output yeah a normal how is um, work how it works this transformer but if we're gonna reverse it like so and we're gonna apply some kind of movement or electron here or with a frequency counter we're gonna exceed the same amount of power as it was being plugged into the main and that's called an inverter folks but to be able to make a proper inverter is quite tricky and implies a lot of timers 555s and you have to have the right frequency and these transformers you never know how they are wired up which um, is the proper thing to make the output best case scenario without uh, all this mumbo jumbo you can have a pulsed dc like most cheap chinese inverters have and it's gonna just fluctuate back and forth back and forth on off on off and you're gonna have something near to the mains on the other hand these kind of transformers and even bigger can be found into the welding machines and with this especially one we have some interesting project that we're going to follow these days basically with the microwave oil transformer we can make a, a lichtenberg device and some um, spotting spot welding device and as well a big chunky powerful power supply for a monster truck power bank all right in the meanwhile thumbs up subscribe and i hope you enjoyed this one see you on the next one cheers